नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड द हाईलाइट ऑफ द ब्रीफिंग इज द मेनली द नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया वेरी लाइकली टू एक्सपीरियंस लाइट टू मॉडरेट स्पेल ऑफ रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी ड्यूरिंग एटीन टू ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रैल एंड ओवर द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया द लाइट टू मॉडरेट स्पेल ऑफ रेनफॉल विथ आइसोलेटेड हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी विल कंटिन्यू ओवर द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया टिल ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रैल एंड देर इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ सेकेंड हीट वेव स्पेल इन दिस मंथ एंड इफ यू लुक फॉर द Yesterday's observed weather, then heavy rainfall was reported at isolated pockets over the Kashmir region, and yesterday hail storm activity was reported over the Bidharba, and yesterday uh, heat wave conditions were also prevailed uh, over the coastal Odisha. And if we look for the yesterday maximum temperatures, then mainly over the uh, plains of northwest India and adjoining central India, the maximum temperatures were in the range of 27 to uh, 35 degrees centigrade. However, over the east India, south peninsular India, and the west India, the maximum temperatures. वर इन द रेंज ऑफ 36 सिक्स टू थर्टी नाइन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड ओवर दी सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द गैंजेटिक वेस्ट बंगाल इंटीरियर उड़ीसा तेलंगाना रायल सीमा एंड इंटीरियर पार्ट्स ऑफ द महाराष्ट्र एंड सौराष्ट्र द मैक्सिम टेम्परेचर वर आल्सो रिपोर्टेड इन द रेंज ऑफ फोर्टी वन टू फोर्टी टू डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड द मैक्सिम टेम्परेचर वेरी लाइकली टू राइज बाई टू टू थ्री डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ओवर मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ ईस्ट इंडिया साउथ पेनेसुलर इंडिया एंड सेंट्रल इंडिया इन द अपकमिंग थ्री टू फोर डेज हाउ एवर ओवर द महाराष्ट्र मैक्सिम temperature will rise by about 3 degrees centigrade in the upcoming 3 days and thereafter there will there is a possibility of fall in maximum temperatures over the maharashtra and over the northwest india maximum temperatures mostly uh, uh, continue to be in the same range in the upcoming 5 days departure wise the maximum temperatures are below normal over the uh, northwest india which can be seen in the blue color however the maximum temperatures are above normal by 2 to 4 degrees centigrade all along the west coast and all along the east coast and over the parts of northeast india and and if we look for the uh, mainly the heat wave warning then mainly the uh, saurashtra and kutch and kontan region very likely to experience heat wave conditions during next two days and over the uh, mainly over the Gangetic, Gangetic West Bengal and the Odisha also likely to experience heat wave conditions during next five days. Over the coastal Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, the heat wave conditions uh, uh, likely over all those regions in isolated pockets uh, from 17th uh, till 19th of April. And if you look for the warm night conditions, then mainly over the Madhya Maharashtra, the warm night conditions likely to prevail during next three days. However, over the Odisha, the warm night conditions will prevail during next five days. And if you look for hot and humid weather. then mainly hot and humid weather very likely over gangetic west bengal tamil nadu rayal seema during next 4 to 5 days over the coastal karnataka and kerala mainly on 16th and 17th of april over the uh, uh, coastal uh, areas of the gujarat region during 16th to, uh, to 18th and some parts of the konkan and goa region uh, hot uh, and humid weather is also likely during 18th to 20th of april if you look for the today's main chief synoptic features then today western disturbance lies over the jammu kashmir and adjoining areas over the north east India circulation lies over the east Assam. Another circulation lies over the eastern parts of the Bihar, and a trough also runs from east Bihar up to south Chhattisgarh over the peninsular India. A circulation lies over the south Tamil Nadu. Another circulation lies over the Rayal Seema in the lower tropospheric levels, and trough also runs from interior parts of the Maharashtra up to the Karnataka. Because of these synoptic uh, features, if you look for the heavy rainfall activity so mainly the arachal pradesh and assam and meghalaya very likely to get heavy rainfall activity at one or two places during uh, next 5 days and over the meghalaya uh, over the tripura and mizoram heavy rainfall activity is also likely on 20th of april over the south peninsular india the kerala likely to experience heavy rainfall activity on 18th and 19th of april and over the northwest india jammu kashmir likely to get the heavy rainfall and heavy snowfall activity on 18th and 19th Month of April. Similarly, if you look for the hail storm activity, then today the hail storm conditions are favorable uh, over some parts of the Sikkim and adjoining area. And tomorrow there is uh, no possibility of hail storm over any parts of the country. And since uh, 18th of April onwards, a fresh western disturbance is likely to affect northwest India because of that the hail storm activity is likely over the Himachal Pradesh on 18th of April. And hail storm activity will be over Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and parts of Punjab also on 19th. 
month of April. And if we look for the rainfall activity over the other parts of the country, so mainly the northeast India and Sikkim area continue to receive light to moderate rainfall activity in the uh, all the five to seven days. Over the south peninsular India also mainly the today Tamil Nadu and Kerala likely to get light, light rainfall activity. And from tomorrow onwards, some more parts of the peninsular India likely to get light rainfall activity, thunderstorm and lightning activity for the subsequent four to five days. Over the Northwest India, so mainly the rainfall activity will start from the 18th of April and from 19th of April the rainfall activity will will increase in terms of the intensity and in terms of the distribution. So Jambu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab and Haryana are likely to experience light rainfall activity over many parts. However, the Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan will get the light rainfall activity at one or two places on 19th and from 20th April onwards the rainfall activity again going uh, again will decrease over the Northwest India. Uh, over the the central India uh, mostly likely to be dry even the central India Gujarat state and most parts of the east India likely to be dry in the upcoming four days and from the 20th April onwards mainly Odisha and Chhattisgarh likely to get light rainfall activity at one or two places for more detailed weather information you can visit the IMD website you can follow us on our Facebook page our Twitter page and our YouTube channel thank you